Nanyang Technological University has developed a robot that can disinfect large surfaces quickly. It's to meet growing demand for deep cleaning services amid a manpower crunch. Called the Extreme Disinfection Robot, it is able to disinfect large surfaces and various shapes in seconds. Its robotic arm mimics human movement to reach odd areas such as doorknobs and light switches. Robots currently on the market usually clean surfaces on the ground level like floors. Using an electrostatic spray nozzle, the disinfectant is also able to spread more widely on surfaces. And the robot can be remotely controlled from a laptop or tablet so cleaners avoid coming into contact with potentially contaminated areas. The project's lead scientist, Professor Chen Aiming uh, from NTU's School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, joins us now for more on this. Uh, this is a ground-up initiative. What inspired you and your team to build this disinfectant robot? Because we, um, since uh, mid of February, Singapore's uh, situation getting um, serious, we noticed that in the uh, public areas that uh, really need uh, um, uh, the measure to do disinfection, uh, no matter in the enclosed space, such as hospital, clinics, schools, public transport. Um, so the disinfection is a necessary step. Professor Chen, you know, explain to us a little bit more in detail, how exactly does the robot work, you know, in particular to get to those hard-to-reach surfaces? Uh, because this robot itself can uh, move around either by uh, human teleoperation or just by autonomous navigation. Uh, so the, the robot can go into room by room and then go into the um, uh, necessary places. And its arm is just mimicking human motion so that it can spray onto the surface equipment or, for example, the, uh, the handrail, doorknobs, uh, even elevator uh, buttons. These are the surface areas that uh, uh, the floor cleaning robot cannot, cannot do for now. Um, and then the robot equipped with the camera as an eye so that the operators or the robot itself can see the objects and identify them and to do the, uh, the disinfection work. And how effective is disinfecting in this manner, say, compared with having clean, cleaners physically doing the job? Okay. The uh, beauty of this is that uh, the spray actually uh, is uh, electrically charged. So when you uh, spray out, he will, he will wrap around the whole object, even on the back. Um, and then once you uh, spray onto that, uh, you don't need to mop. Because in human uh, action, normally they will spray and then they will also use a mop to do a, a second time, but this mop may introduce the uh, uh, cross-contamination. Con so in this case, the robot, they can do once and then move to the next target. Professor Chen, so then in what ways is this robot different from others that are currently available in the market? And you mentioned there that, you know, some of these other robots, they just clean the floors only. Yeah. Okay, so this robot, the major difference is that he, he, do, um, the, uh, he has the dexterity, so he can go into the difficult reach area, and then um, when we are uh, cleaning those surfaces, it will not give you a, a waste of your, um, uh, the chemicals, so they can effectively wrap around the surface that, uh, uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the focus. Um, so this is the major difference of that. And are there any development plans uh, for this robot as of now and with COVID-19 situation affecting countries globally, are you facing any challenges on the production of these robots? Yes, we are. Uh, our deployment plan is um, right after this circuit break area. So we're going to do the, um, the test and trial in Singapore. Um, and then we have also in discussion with a, a number of hospitals um, then to do the uh, deployment uh, uh, very soon. In terms of production, um, because of the global uh, supply chain now uh, is quite limited, so uh, we, are, uh, we are going to use most of the, uh, the supplier from Singapore as much as possible in order to quickly deliver the robots uh, to the, our uh, other end users. All right, thank you very much for your time, Professor Chen E. Ming from the NTU School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering.